Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 2 triple 4 that says count sub arrays with fixed bound. So here you are given two integers uh, min k and max k and along with that you are given one nums array. So in this array you need to find a sub array that satisfy the condition. The condition says that the minimum value in a sub array must be equal to minimum k and maximum value in the sub array should be equal to maximum k. So we need to return the number of fixed bound sub array or the number of sub arrays that satisfy this condition. Correct, and yeah, a subarray is a contiguous part of an atom. So if you take a look at this example, so here this is the nums array, right? And the minimum k is one, maximum k is five. So as you guys can see that this is here uh, we have this minimum k, uh, one present, three, then five. Five is the maximum k. So if you take these as a subarray, then is it is valid or not? Yeah, it is valid because it the lowest or the least element or the smallest element here is equal to minimum k. And the largest any element here is equal to maximum k. Yeah, the second condition says the minimum value must be equal to minimum k. Yeah, it's satisfied. Maximum value must be equal to maximum k. It is also satisfied. So yeah, this is one valid subarray. Now, if you take uh, a subarray from one to this two, is it valid or not? Yeah, it is also valid because the minimum value is equal to minimum k and maximum value phi is equal to maximum k. Okay, if you take uh, subarray from one to seven, is it valid? No, it is not valid because here the maximum element would become seven. And that is not equal to maximum k so that is not valid okay if you take from here 1 to 5 then also maximum remain uh, maximum element would remain 7 so it is not a valid answer no other sub array would pro give you valid answer so there are only two sub arrays 135 and 1352 that are valid okay if you take a look at this example so i like to be uh, right uh, here so here you are given four ones and uh, minimum k and maximum k both are one uh, minimum k is 1 maximum k is also 1 okay so one uh, <coughs> let me also write down the uh, indices so yeah uh, all what are all the possible answers see one see all possible answers are like this all the one itself okay another possible answer is like grouping 1 comma 1 okay this li like this way grouping like this way okay got it now another possible answer is what grouping uh, of three one from uh, one group from here and another group from here this two are contiguous group okay and another possible answer is this complete sub array this complete array is a sub array right so how many total uh, number of possible uh, valid sub arrays are there four five six seven eight nine ten so there are ten total possible valid sub array for this question and that's why we written ten here so i hope you guys understood that how we got 10 uh, possible sub arrays from here because all you can see all the num sub arrays have minimum k and maximum k uh, as one yeah as you can see okay good now if you take a look at the bounds then you can see the array length or the vector length is up to 10 to the power 5 so <coughs> if you try to produce each and every sub array here uh, and <coughs> try to check for this condition then you won't be able to get your answer you will get a time limit exceeded error okay so the brute force approach of producing all the possible sub arrays won't be uh, useful here it won't work okay so the next thing we we have to think is to do something that works okay yeah so let's say you have something like this array 1 3 5 2 4 7 5 3 1 okay something like this minimum k let's take it as 1 and maximum k let's take it as 5 so in order to uh, get the number of sub arrays a possible sub arrays valid sub arrays what uh, things you need to do see first thing is a basic thing that you need to traverse the array traverse the array okay the next thing is uh, to keep uh, the indices of minimum k and maximum k or to track position of minimum k and maximum k okay so if you track the position of minimum k and maximum k then only you will be getting answer then only you will get some answer right if you don't track, track this then you how you will know that is there some minimum k or maximum k there or not in the array or the sub array that you are taking so you need to uh, take the track the position of minimum k and maximum k okay so let's and uh, let's take only these two things at a time currently uh, and we will uh, try to get the answer for this question so let me again write down here okay 
सो वी विल ट्रावल्स एड एंड ट्रैक द पोजिशन मिनिमम के मैक्सिम के सो इज दिस मिनिमम के या वी ट्री वी किप वी ऑल लेट मी राइट ओके वी विल ट्रैक फॉर मिनिमम के एंड मैक्सिमम के इंडेक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट so here what is the uh, the minimum k index is zero and let's initialize maximum k index as minus 1 okay so here this will remain zero this is minus 1 because this is intermediary element uh, here this will remain zero this will be 2 so whenever both minimum k and maximum k are not equal to minus 1 then what we will do we will sim simply increment our answer our answer to 1 because we found one possible subarray correct here also zero and 2 is this possible subarray from 1 to uh, from here to here yeah so we will again increment our answer so whenever uh, both this minimum and maximum k are not equal to minus 1 we will increment our answer okay but if we found something like 7 seven, 7 seven, then what we will do we would make both as minus 1 okay because because the, we are producing we are trying to produce sub array and sub array is a continuous so this uh, whenever you will find something that is out of the range out of the range of minimum k and maximum k we will again make minimum k and maximum k to minus 1 because including that element is never possible so we will forget that we have some minimum k and maximum k indices in the past and we will try to check for new indexes okay now here you will get mini, uh, maximum in uh, k index as 6 but uh, we won't increment our answer because our minimum k is still minus 1 here also it will remain as it is and here we will get both minimum k and maximum k and both are not equal to minus 1 so we will increment our answer to 4 So at the end we got four as our answer, right? This four as our answer, and you can also see that this is one possible subarray, correct? Uh, this is second possible subarray. This is third possible subarray, and this is the last one. <coughs> so this is how we keep track of the possible arrays with the help of these two pointers, minimum k and maximum k indices. Simple as it is. Okay. Now if I also tell you that along with minimum k and maximum k, we also need to keep track of leftmost out of bound or leftmost element that is out of minimum k and maximum k or leftmost invalid element so track i i will writing here track left or you can say last invalid index that is the index of the last invalid number so we need to keep track of this also why let me show you by simple example so here as we have discussed this example where we have four ones and if you try to keep track of minimum k maximum k and answer where minimum k is also 1 and maximum k is also 1 so with only these things if you try to keep track of data uh, then what i have to answer you will get so let's uh, let us try to make a dry run okay here the minimum k is 0 maximum k is 0 and we got our answer both are not minus 1 here it is 1 1 and we get our answer as 2 here 2 2 increment our answer 3 3 increment our answer But is this four valid? Valid? No. As we seen earlier, that there are ten possible subarrays here. So is this four valid? No, it is not valid. So here in this type of case, why we can't increment just one? Because one is this possible subarray, but this is also one subarray here that is ending here, right? This is also one possible subarray. So here our answer would should be what? It should be three, as you can see. Here, if you are uh, checking up till this index, this is one possible. The another is this. another is this complete yeah as you can see so here you have to increment not just by one see, here we are simply incrementing by one but instead you have to increment by 3 and how you will keep track that how much times you want to increment so tracking by what value to increment we need to keep track of last invalid index we need to keep track of last invalid index okay got it okay here it works but here for this type of cases we have to also keep track of last invalid index now let me show you that how what will happen if we keep track of last invalid index okay for the same example and let me write here last invalid okay understand this is the last invalid index and here one answer so here uh, this both are zero last invalid index is nothing yeah so it is minus 1 and here our answer is 1 okay so how here we will calculate our answer we will calculate our answer as minimum of minimum k maximum k minus last invalid index 
ओके बाय दिस फॉर्म्यूला वी विल कैलक्युलेट अवर आंसर आई विल ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन यू इन दिस फॉर्म्यूला इन द एंड नाउ हियर व्हाट इज द मिनिमम के मिनिमम के एंड मैक्सिमम के बोथ आर पॉइंटिंग टू दिस इंडेक्स बट द लास्ट इनवैलिड इंडेक्स इज माइनस वन सो हियर वॉट वी विल टेक अवर आंसर एज वी विल डू प्लस टू सो अवर आंसर विल बिकम थ्री हाउ दिस विल वर्क बिकॉज द मिनिमम ऑफ बोथ मिनिमम के एंड मैक्सिमम के इज वन and we are doing what minus of minus 1 so this will turn out to be 2 so we were incrementing 2 to our answer plus 2 to our answer got it so here the minimum k maximum k both are 2 last invalid index is minus 1 and here what we will do we will do 2 minus of minus 1 so we will increment by 3 we will increment by 3 so our answer will become 3 plus 3 6 okay and here it would be 3 3 again minus 1 and here we would increment by 4 so our answer would become 6 plus 4 10 and yeah as you can see now we got our correct answer so if we use this formula then uh, as you can see that we are getting the correct answer right here 10 is the correct answer now let me explain you the formula see what is the minimum of minimum k and maximum k it is the uh, leftmost index that is valid right it is the minimum of both minimum k and maximum k that is valid and the last invalid index is what it is the invalid where index that is invalid means that can't be included in in here so If you try to use this formula, then we will neglect all possible, all invalid. Uh, not possible. We will try neglect here all invalid subarray and produce all possible subarray from left ending. at current index so this is our current index let's say this is our current index this index 3 then with the help of this formula we will produce all the possible subarrays from the left okay see one is this we will produce this second is this third is this and fourth is this right this four we have produced subarray see as you can see we are increment to count increment by four and how we produce this with the help of this formula because the last invalid index here was minus 1 okay so by this using this formula as you can see that we have we can produce the last Uh, the total number of possible uh, sub arrays ending at the current index as i told you the by with the help of this we will uh, we will neglect all invalid sub arrays and produce all the possible sub arrays from the left ending at the current index so this is the meaning of this formula simple as it is got it so yeah i hope you guys understood the intuition that what why we need to keep track of minimum k and maximum k and why not why simple minimum k and maximum k tracking is not enough we also have to keep track of last invalid index And yeah, based on this intuition, now let's move on to the coding part. See, coding part is very much simple here. We uh, we are simply coding what we have discussed. So initially, I took these three uh, uh, variables: last invalid elements, last minimum k index, and last maximum k index. Any value that is between minimum k and maximum k, that is between the range, then what we are doing? Then we are simply doing this thing. First, we are updating the minimum k and a maximum k. If the nums of i equal to maximum k and if it is equal to minimum k, yeah, this is as simple as it is. And then we are checking for the answer or incrementing the count. And as I have told you earlier, that how we are incrementing the count, we are taking the minimum of both these minus last invalid elements. And then let's say if this is negative, let's then we are just simply um, checking with with zero. What is maximum? Either this or this. If, because in the case if it is negative, then we won't increment to our answer. Simple as it is. And in the else condition, that if the element doesn't lie in the range then what we will make we will simply uh, update the index of index that is last invalid index la and then we will simply make this both as minus 1 as i discussed because they are no longer helpful so yeah this is in the else condition simple as it is and in the end we return the count so <coughs> the code is simple here and now talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity here would be big o of n as we are traversing only all the n elements only once in the space complexity here is big o of 1 as we are not storing anything these are simple variables so this don't take any such spaces so yeah this is a time and space complexity for this question and guys if you have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you